Okay, so today's the day I'm going to fire these pots. I'm planning to go to cone 06, actually a little higher, 10,000 and well, 1,080 degrees. Um, I'm going to be using this thermocouple as a readout. I also made a little kind of really bad scraper just to scrape out these coals. Let me show you. Going to so that that's the bottom air hole. Uh, I can just go in and clean all the dirty coals out. I put this metal plate down here just to catch everything even though it could go on the ground but it's easier to dispose of. So yeah, um, I got a couple of not so great pots. It's all the pots that I never really wanted to glaze but decided I'm just going to test them with this first run. I also got a couple of termite mound pieces over there that I glazed. We'll see what happens. Hopefully they actually work out. And yeah, just just a bunch of random pots. I don't know how cool they are, but we'll we'll see if they come out nicely or not. Uh, some of these are wild clay, some of these commercial, some of it's mixed. It's all sorts of random stuff. Okay, so I'm ready to light up. I stuck in three sheets of newspaper and a bunch of really small pieces of wood. I'm going to light this piece underneath the fire grate and hopefully that lights through. We'll see how it goes. I also got all this wood over here. I have no idea how much it is. It's just all scrap pellets that I had. Some of it's really rotten. Uh, some of it's got lots of nails and a bit thicker. These are thinner pieces. And then I've got some more over here. I've got more there. And I have even more pellets all the way down there if I need to use them. And it looks like i got two little assistants to help me. So let me light this up. And see how it goes if my lighter decides to work. That's great. I need to get a different lighter. Ah, oh, there we go. It's lit. Okay. So those flames should come through here any moment. There's a little bit of smoke. Let me just close this up. Mostly. Okay, it's 10.45, technically 10.43, but all good. Fire's come through, uh, wood's starting to light. I'm just going to close this off ever so slightly to push the flame through to the chimney. Let's wait and see if I see smoke there. It's not, not coming up yet. Okay, I just stuck in a few extra pieces of wood still not really smoking I think if you look really carefully you might see just a tiny bit but yeah that's pretty much it from now onwards I don't think it's gonna smoke unless I overstoke the fire um, I'll get back to you in a little while I don't know how long I'm gonna measure the temps and see how things go it's already at 72 degrees Celsius that is uh, it's climbing real quick, so I'm going to log these temps every 15 minutes and I'll show you the log at the end. Okay, we're only 10 minutes in, if that much. Um, yeah, you can see a tiny bit of smoke. I don't even know if you can see that. You can also see how the fire is pulling. Oh, there we go, now you can see a little bit of smoke. As you can see it's pulling down the J-tube and up into the kiln. And at the top of the chimney, there is zero smoke pretty amazing uh, I mean we're still right in the beginning so we'll see how things go I'll show you if I do end up seeing smoke and at what time it was but yeah 10 minutes in looking real good you can also hear the fire roaring that direction it's pretty cool this is climbing really fast we're not even 15 minutes in and we're already at 368 369 370 it's just climbing so fast i'm actually going to try and slow it down a little bit i'd like to have gotten to this temperature within about an hour but yeah anyways it's going really quick so i'm just going to slow this down already 376 377 378 it's climbing super fast so i'm going to stop stoking for a while i've closed this just to just to let it hopefully calm down but yeah it's going absolutely nuts i just like temperature to stabilize ever so slightly inside there I've just passed about an hour now. Things are going a lot better. I'm at 532 degrees. Turns out the thing about this is you need to stoke carefully. If you overstoke, it goes up 
way too quickly. So I've calmed down, I just put in one or two pieces of wood, not like four or five at a time. Flame is burning really well. It's still pretty smokeless. Um, there is a little bit of smoke every now and then when I, as I add the wood, but that disappears pretty quick. Um, so I'm just going to keep going at this level and see how things go. Hopefully it continues to rise at a nice even pace. We're coming up just past two hours and we've just reached 900 degrees. Slightly dipped since then, but still going well. <clears throat> it's definitely an art to get this fire stoked correctly so that it continues to burn at the right pace. But it is constantly going up, which is okay. I'll update you as soon as I get closer to a thousand degrees, but so far looking good. I'm just going to take the thermometer out for a thermocouple and you can have a quick peek inside. Oh, camera doesn't really want to focus inside there, but you can see it's glowing nice and red. Okay, so I've hit a thousand degrees. I've been there consistently for the last 10 or 12 minutes. I'm actually slowing down the firing quite substantially. I'd like to kind of hold it at around 1060, 1080. It's quite difficult to hold it on an exact temperature, so I'm going to kind of hold it around there. I've slowed down the firing. I'm putting in only one or two small pieces of wood. Been chopping them up into tiny little pieces like this now. I've got some two different types of wood. I've got saligna and I've got pine. The saligna burns a lot slower. I think it actually puts out a lot less heat. So when I put these in, it is just slower. So I'm going to probably end off with a couple of these and then maybe end off with a few larger pieces of these pellets. Okay, so this is the temperature log. I got to 1086 at 11.35. I then stopped stoking went down to 10.54, 10.58, 10.47 was the lowest. Then I slowly started stoking just ever so slightly to try and keep it between 10.60 and 10.80. I only could do that for about five minutes and then I decided I'm going to stop. I hit 10.80 again at 12.47. It is currently dipping. I've stopped stoking. It's been, it's now 10.48, I mean 12.48, so it's been like a minute and it's already down to 990 so it's dropping quite quick I'm going to close up the all the holes and the damper as well check there's still a nice piece of wood burning inside there I'm going to close this up close this up and also the damper let's see how well this works is it hot? not at all it works perfectly okay that's closed and temperature 981. I'll log the time. Temperature dropped really quickly after I closed up. That was at 1247. That was at 1080. Um, it's now 1330 and it's dropped down to 720. It dropped 100 degrees in the first 15 minutes, second 15 minutes, um, not quite 100 degrees. I'm gonna go have some lunch. Might not be 15 minutes. I'll see what it is. I'll log the rest of the time. Pottery definitely is a game of patience. You can't do this if you're in a hurry. Even though this went really quickly, I'm still impatient. The cooling time is slow and tedious, but I know eventually tonight or tomorrow morning I'll be able to open that door and have a look at what's inside. Hopefully it's a success. I don't even know if it's going to work out. Maybe the temperature that it said it was was totally wrong, overfired or underfired. I literally have no idea, but I am super excited. I'll uh, update you guys as soon as I'm able to open that thing up again. Okay, it's the next morning. It was a long wait, waiting all night, but uh, let's have a look at what's inside. Hopefully this is not a disaster. Ooh doesn't look too bad looks like it's a partial success see what those termite things look like oh it's nice and warm in here it's only 34 degrees so pretty decent oh, there's some bubbling there's a nice bronze pot yeah it looks like a pot that I glazed a little bit too thinly but looks looks okay here's another bronzish kind of thing 
essentially a little overfired, but okay. He has a drinking cup. Can't remember what glaze I put on the inside, but doesn't look too bad. Yep, yeah, I'll unpack them and show you and see what we get. And here's all the parts that are unloaded. Most of them are pretty good success. Some of them not so much. This glaze is like kind of it has a tendency to not do very well unless I soak it really long. So it bubbled, it didn't fully like melt out. It did on the one side. I think this side got a bit hotter. It's the same on all of these with a the blue glaze. It's a cobalt glaze, it just let me check those bubbles break. But I mean overall not bad. There's a nice bronze glaze, it came out really nicely. Uh, it's the pot that has so many like spots on it, not the glaze. There's another random one also with the bronze glaze, it looks really nice. Um, there's this cobalt glaze and a green lichen glaze. It came out quite good. Yeah, it's like a it's not bronze, it's like a some other kind of glaze. It came out really nice as well. Um on the one side a little bit more blue and dull I think it could have also done with a little bit of a soaking but it's okay um, yeah this one I didn't apply very well but it actually looked kind of cool to me I quite like the way it came out same with this one also didn't apply it very well but looks pretty awesome check that side it looks really nice um, and then here's the the termite mound things that I claimed. It was from an old termite mound. It wasn't a, I didn't destroy a home. It was old, already dead. Or gone, I don't know. But yeah, I'll check this one. This one's also got that metal glaze on. They reacted quite differently to how they normally react on this clay. I didn't know what to expect from it. Yeah, this one, this is the green. Didn't do any, basically did nothing. Um, this is the cobalt. Also didn't do too much, but it did something. It looks pretty cool. And then here's like a, it's actually a white clay with a brown clay slip that I put on. You can see it's pretty rough pot, so I really didn't care much for these. I actually was going to not bother with them. But yeah, this is the blue clay on there. Over there you can see what the cobalt looks like on the white clay. And here's Pax, kitty cat. Yeah, this is the lichen glaze. This is more what it looks like when you apply it slightly better. But yeah, as I said, I rushed all of these, so application wasn't the best here's another random this is a wild clay that I actually slip casted um, it worked but also not too fond of it this glaze is all my glazes that I mess I just pour into one container and I call it all glaze so I applied it pretty thin because I wasn't sure what was going to happen but on this spot where it's a little thicker it actually applied really well so I'll give this a go, but it doesn't have much color. It looks a bit boring. Uh, here's another wild clay that I dug somewhere. Uh, it's got the cobalt glaze on the inside, and it's got this metal on the outside. It's yeah, quite matte, actually, on this. So don't quite know what happened. It was actually a pot that I threw and then split open. Um, I slipped it with some other wild clay that I found at the sea, so it might have some salts or something. In it, I have no idea. Yeah, here's the lichen glaze on a um, buff clay. So, just something I was fooling around with. I, it was a block of clay and then I carved it out. Kind of looks cool ish. I mean, whatever. It was just, just fooling around. There's a cup where I mixed. This is a, a wild clay and a commercial um, earthenware. So this is a clear glaze on the outside, I put it on real thin and on the inside I can't actually remember what I did. I think it might have been the green lichen as well. But yeah, that kind of gives you an idea. Oh, here's another little wild clay with the all glaze on it, all my glazes mixed together. Uh, didn't come out too good, I probably applied it too thin. Gla the pot was cracked before firing, here's another. Uh, this is a different clay, this is also a wild clay. Um, yeah, oh, here's another, here's the bronze on white. So the bronze on white looks really nice, um, especially if you apply it properly. 
yeah, it just looks really cool. I think I'll potentially turn this into a lamp or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, what else? There's like a random face I made that's got copper carbonate wash on it without any frit, just water, copper carbonate. Also just did a rough kind of coating on it to see what it would look like. Uh, I'm not sure if I like it or not, but yeah, it's made. So yeah, that's kind of all of them. Oh, here's another one I probably missed. White with a silver kind of lead glaze. I plotted a bit thin there, so it's a bit greenish, but, but kind of cool. Um, here's another wild clay glaze. Uh, didn't th throw it very well, so it's got like holes in it and whatever, but this is the cobalt. Also didn't really mat out. I mean, yeah, I don't know what the terminology is, but yeah, it didn't come out perfectly. Um, but yeah, I like this one as well. This one really looks cool, but as you can see there, it's got holes in it, but I actually, I kind of like that. Uh, I liked it before I glazed it, so I'm glad it came out okay. Probably going to make a little light fitting out of this as well. Yeah, there's another, oh, there's the other all glaze on wild clay. This stuff is actually the black clay that I used on the kiln to make the cob with. It's super like high shrinkage clay so throwing anything or making anything with that clay is near impossible i think this is like probably 70 percent sand and 30 percent clay so it's like really really groggy but i managed to make a small little bowl out of it with and then dry it without it breaking apart too much i can't remember if these cracks happened while drying or if they happened while firing but either way ah, just another test yeah so yeah, I hope you like that. I'll be doing more. If you want to see more of these, I do intend to do a higher cone 6 and then ultimately cone 10 firing. I don't know if pots ready for that though. So I'm going to have to make a bunch of pots if you guys want to see. Let me know. Please like and subscribe. That would be awesome. Thank you. Cheers.